So this is the rear drive unit from the hub around. And as you can see, I did manage to get the driven hub put on the correct direction. It just it took me. Isis! Hush! It did take a little bit of doing and some time on the uh, big honking one ton arbor press, but, well, not huge, but it's you know, bigger than most things. Uh, I've already got this one, the hub taken off of this one. And of course, you know, the, it fit on here perfectly, which is, makes me very happy. The only issue that I have right now is that the valve stem doesn't want to fit in the uh, hole quite well. So I think I might need to get some other inner tubes that have a uh, the valve stem so that it comes up and out. And I, I can just pick those up from Harbor Freight, they're cheap. What I want to do is I want to take this one apart, just quick, and show you what that's like. I think these are metric. <laughs> Good guess, 12 millimeter. <clears throat> and these come apart pretty easy. They're, I think they're designed to come apart. That's a half inch drive. All right, I'll be right back. Don't knock my Harbor Freight tools. He's gonna need it. another, another. Two. Is that another 12? No, that's a 14. Do 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 do. Where did my thing go? Or a 13. Well, <clears throat> turns out that one was inflated a little more than the other one was. Okay. Yeehaw. Smells like rubber. Or plasticky rubber from the inside of an inner tube. Yeesh. Uh, safety tip I should have uh, let the air out before I took them off the hubs. Yeah. Who was I don't know? Yeah, nice and squishy. I like it. Got some inner tubes from uh, Harbor Freight. And they are the kind that have the stem that goes up and out. So they will actually fit in like that. There we go. Because that's what I want. Uh, so, got to remove these. Got these deflated enough. Maybe not. Do some additional deflating. I should probably do is get a uh, get a tire tool, a stem remover tool, and just pull the stems out. This is kind of fun. All right, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, went down to the Napa. 
Got one of these little beasties. Let's take out the valve stem. A little innards. A little valve. And there's nothing holding the air in anymore. Let's put it back in for now, because we're probably going to scavenge these a bit later. I'll explain why at a future time. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is deface these tubes pretty considerably. Oh. Isis is hanging around the uh, hanging around the base. And the first thing I'm going to oh yeah, that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to slit these on the outside. You may say, why are you defacing some perfectly good inner tubes? And I'll say because I want to use them in a different way. And because they're bloody cheap. I think these things are like three dollars at Harbor Freight right now. It's not an exact science. As you may have guessed from my technique. I'm just trying to keep it as close to the center line as I can. So now what I have is an inner tube sleeve. It's a little heavier duty. Then there's the regular inner tube. Fit this into the tire. Something neat I just discovered. These tear perfectly right along that center line. So much for cutting. And now we have two perfectly set up inner tubes. I like it. Okay, and that fits just right. Oh yeah, that's what we need. That's exactly what we need. All right, now I'm gonna mount them. Okay, mounting these, you notice that I've got the little inner tube spacer here, that little uh, valve stem spacer. You wanna match that up. Put the valve stem on the inside and the outside hub, just like that.
And once again, I'm going to make sure that the valve stem matches the hole that's in there. This side is up in here as well. Come on. There we go. Now, that feels better. Okay, those are filled to 50 PSI now. Normally they're made for 30. So that extra inner tube on the inside does a wonder of good. So one of the things with the newer wheels is that they don't fit the uh, rims anymore, or this body panel. I think I may just cut it off. I think that's going to be easiest rather than trying to find a way to mount it up because that's going to mess with the batteries and everything else. I'm just going to cut these off.